probably wondering, why are we in such a dimly lit video? The same place. Wow, well, dimly lit video. Did I just say dimly lit video? <sighs> Apologies. In such a dimly lit room. Well, the reason for such a bold move was um, filming here in the uh, science video got such a positive response that I thought it would be a good idea to do, to film here for videos specifically designed for relaxation. Now, albeit all my videos are designed for relaxation, I thought this would be a pretty snazzy place to do it where um, the main sort of focus is relaxation, like unboxings. There's an ulterior motive, the interest in the unboxing, so on and let's plays. Okay, I'm just rambling, which ironically or conveniently leads into this weekend's video. It's a ramble. I love I love um, whispered rambles. Now, don't be misled. This will not be ear to ear. Just because my back can't really take it, or I just can't. I really need to do a focused ear-to-ear -ear video, which I will do. Uh, it just won't be this ramble, um, but that, it will come. Don't worry for all of you binaural lovers. It will come. So yeah, I thought um, you guys may like another ramble video. I love them. Um, so basically, it's kind of like an update, really, just what's going on my life. So I'm looking down at the note sheet because apparently I can't come up with, uh, I can't discuss what's been going on in my own life just by following a train of thought. I've written down essays, summaries and my school life deems merit to be mentioned in this ramble. Um, I wrote this a couple hours ago so clearly my mind has wandered. Um, but yeah, so, oh, uh, in a way, oh, how's work and life going with you? Me, um, it's kicking up pretty, pretty hard, uh, turning to, uh, crank it up to 11, so to speak, in wacky terms. Uh, just because my last year before university, um, a lot of essays and, uh, coursework are flying around, and I'm sure you're all in a very similar boat with schoolwork or just general work. Uh, so I won't burden you with that, but um, yeah, that's been uh, keeping me uh, entertained. Um, we uh, have to do this uh, historical inquiry for history, and um, that's cool. That's a 4,000 word, just sort of, it's hard to explain. It is an inquiry, really. It's, it's like a prolonged essay, but uh, formatted in a different way, and a lot more fo well, it's a lot more focused on independent learning and you go out there and get the information. Now I'm doing mine on um, the uh, British um, colonization of the Americas and my question focuses on um, whether the uh, whether the potential for trade and economic motivations was a main factor for colonizing North America and I'll be evaluating other factors such as religious, socio-economic and political. So that's, um, that. if you're interested in history maybe that's interested you a little bit. If uh, any of you guys are doing any sort of history, whether my UK viewer is doing GCSEs or A-levels um, or my international friends, let me know what sort of history you like and get up to, because history is a really uh, big passion of mine, and it's really fun, and hopefully you guys enjoy as well, because if we forget it, we're condemned to repeat it, and also if we also if we do remember it, so it's, that comment's kind of redundant, but let's not philosophize. I really want to do a video on philosophy, or areas of philosophy, and Ephemeral Ruth did um, a video on sort of existentialism and you know, the f sort of theory surrounding existence and that I, I, I really enjoyed it and I'm a big fan of philosophy um, the ancient Greeks um, you look at Plato Plato's philosophy um, I, 
Aristotle, especially, and their sort of views on the human body, the soul, and existence. Really interesting stuff. And also, modern philosophers are looking at Kant. Yes, I said Kant. Watch it. Um, yeah, so maybe that's something we could do. If that interests you, I, I suppose, in a way, the main motivation could just be a personal interest. But hopefully you'd enjoy that as well. I'd have to put something together. So, with the boring uh, topic over, sorry about that, we have, um, da -da -da. yeah, I, uh, this week I had my um, driving test, and I remember when I first, I had my first test, so yes, I failed it once, I put it on Instagram, I said, oh, driving test day, and then I failed it. So I thought, right, let's not be so cocky. Uh, let's, you know, just keep calm. And uh, to cut a long story short, I passed. Um, I only got three uh, minors uh, driving faults, which is pretty cool. I'm very happy with it. Um, it was quite a, it's always a nervous situation driving tests. I, you know, I went into it knowing how to drive or a basic ability. And then the, uh, the, the lady gets into the car and asks me these questions. And my mouth goes really dry. And I'm just sat there going, oh, just panicking. But uh, luckily, um, I think, well, things went to plan so I can now drive. So if you're on UK roads, watch out. I may be buzzing about. Um, I'm hoping to really take advantage of driving. I was thinking of doing sort of like car vlogs, like uh, once again, if Emerald Rift did uh, some car vlogs, which are so relaxing and they're just so interesting. And I was thinking maybe we could do something like that. If you're interested, let me know. The shadow makes me look like I have really bushy eyebrows. Or is it actually just my eyebrows? I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, that was Monday. That was Monday for my week. Um, I also had on Wednesday evening, I took part in a inter-school competition with this thing called Youth Speaks, and it is uh, by the Rotary Club. Um, UK viewers, you may know what the Rotary Club is for Rotarians. Uh, US or international, you, are, you, may, you may do, I'm not going to sort of speak on behalf of you and say that you don't know, but it's hard to explain. It's basically older people. Sort of like 50 plus, it's like this club where they get together and they do stuff and put stuff on for the community. And this was the uh, regional, uh, the district round. And basically, yeah, you form a team, so me and two of us, and we put together a presentation, a business style presentation. Um, and you have a main speaker who speaks for six minutes, a chairman who hosts the event, so introduces the topic, the team, and then everyone in and uh, concludes and then you have the vote of thanks which basically comments on and praises the main speaker's speech um, so we had that on Wednesday ours was um, our topic was the cost like the real cost of free healthcare and it was really interesting sort of researching for it and it was quite an uh, engaging topic so that was fun we uh, competed against six of the teams and uh, we won we came first which was really cool which was really exciting um, it was very stressful but it means we go on to the um, uh, second round which is in Preston that, that may mean nothing to you in February so that's cool just got to get prepping for that um, but now on to less about me purely for this topic Assassin's Creed Syndicate guys now it arrived today um, Friday obviously it's going up on Saturday um, so uh, don't worry I'm not like oh, I don't know I'm just rambling sorry okay yeah Assassin's Creed Syndicate so I'm not gonna sort of delve into great detail on the basis I've only put it in and played and I half an hour but it's really cool from what it looks like so far it's a very beautiful looking game they seem to have really gone back to its 
those uh, grassroots and uh, really what made the game Assassin's Creed 2 particularly uh, so revolutionary and special. And so far it's really, uh, really fun. The combat is finally, is a lot more, uh, is a lot more fluid and fun and rewarding, which is cool. But like I said, I've barely played it. I only got the standard edition, hence there's no unboxing. Uh, but there will be a review, um, uh, not next week, but the week after. Because next week, I'm, um, I'm going to have to somehow sort this Halloween video out. I'm really looking forward to doing it, don't get me wrong. I don't want to come across as if I'm just nagging. I'm like, oh, oh bloody hell, I've got to do this video. Oh, no, I am looking forward to it. Um, it's just actually executing it. Plus, I look like a right knob in my costume. I think if you've seen on Instagram, you've seen it. If you haven't, then I won't tell you on here, so you're left in surprise. But yeah, I look. So, but hopefully it's going to be very experimental. It's so hopefully you you like it. Uh, you may not like it. That's always an option. Um, so um, we'll um, we'll have to see. But hopefully that's up next week, probably next Saturday. Or yeah, it'll be, it'll be next Saturday because I upload on Saturdays. And, so we have that coming up. Um, we are right currently we're sitting at eight thousand nine hundred and ninety six subscribers, and I don't want to sound arrogant, assuming that by the time this goes up, we will have nine thousand subscribers. So let's just say we're teetering on the edge, and let's say by chance we have it, it, which would be really cool. I just want to say thank you so much once again, scary shadows. Thank you all so much for taking the time to hit that subscribe button and enduring this mug and this microphone, a mug and a microphone. Um, you guys truly are, and it's very easy to say this, it's very easy to go, oh, you subscribers mean the world to me, but I'm going to be cliche here and say you genuinely do, and I try to take every opportunity to show my appreciation. Um, for all that you guys do for me you're just viewing this video you are helping me out loads leaving a comment is always such a kind thing to do and I always want to reply I try my best to reply to every comment it's getting pretty hectic which is good um, it just means as usually I usually like I let it build up for about four days and then I will bang them out I'll reply, I'll go, one, two, three, four. Now, don't worry, I read every comment. Um, but by doing that, I can make sure I can go through blocks rather than doing it every so often. Then I get lost with the progress. So we do, um, we, um, I uh, do try um, my best and to show you guys. And also on the uh, social media, on Twitter and Instagram, I try and uh, really um, support, uh, support you on there, like, you know, Oh, thank you for liking my picture on Instagram. Yeah, dude, it was an awesome picture. Of course, I was gonna like it. You guys are so talented, especially the uh, the sort of like the creativity that you guys exude. It's just far beyond what I could do, and it's so admirable. It's so awesome. So I, I've got to like it. Um, but yeah. So, cut long story short. Okay. It seems we're getting ever closer to that big 10k. That'll be crazy. Um, I remember, I remember when we first hit 100 subscribers. And um, I remember that was when I was first starting to get confidence in um, YouTube. And then we hit 250. Um, I think that's when I did the uh, video game roleplay, which is my highest viewed video so far. They're really popular. And then I think 500 did the room tour. And then a thousand I did the Q&A. It's been a journey, guys. And it's been one that I've loved every minute of. Being able to meet you guys and really get to know you is just awesome. I think it's easy for there to be a disconnection between creator and you guys. But I don't, I don't think that's the case with us. I think it's different with us. I think we definitely, f we build a relationship. And I think that is crucial to having such a 
time to say goodnight for I'm quite tired. It's been a pretty hectic week, as I'm sure it's been for you guys. And I think we all just want to get some rest. Um, I'm probably going to stick on some ASMR videos and just drift away. Um, if you are new to the channel, which you may very well be, but you did enjoy this video somehow, um, please, um, uh, oh, no, not please, I'm not going to say please, well, no, I should say please, hold on, let me clarify. If you enjoyed what you see and you would like to see more, hit that subscribe button and uh, welcome to the fold. That was quite weird, not going to lie, to so have window wipers and we have the fold. See you all very soon. Lots of love, as always.